I know I said the last studio setup would be the final studio setup of the year, but I wanted to get one with the tree in while we're at it. So I can't believe I haven't made a video yet about my favorite video games of all time, Elder Scrolls. They are fascinating. They're different from any other video game, uh, or from most video games, in that they have open world exploration. And I discovered them while I was little, and I'm still very curious about the world. And so my favorite part of these games is that you can just go and explore and do things that are not directed by the game or scripted. Uh, you can just sort of poke around and see how the world is built. And uh, I, I tend to do that in my own life anyway. So having a video game in which I can do that in exactly the same way uh, felt really freeing for me. I was always frustrated by the storylines people built into video games. Uh, and I always like to kind of go and make my own version of how to, how to be in the world. And so uh, I, I got really uh, interested in both modding Elder Scrolls games and in just playing them and exploring. I think if I could live in any virtual world, it would be in Morrowind or Oblivion or Skyrim or Elder Scrolls Online where there's just all these awesome creatures that you're surrounded by and missions you have to go on and cool things to do. Uh, and I feel like any of those games with virtual reality would just be the coolest thing in the entire world. And I hope that at some point uh, in the next year or two, someone will write a like video card driver to let us play those games in virtual reality. Or maybe Bethesda, the game studio, will actually come out with a VR Elder Scrolls game soon. We'll see. I'm excited for either possibility. I hope it happens. Uh, and those are my thoughts on Elder Scrolls. I wish I could make a gameplay video for you guys, but uh, haven't played honestly in maybe six months. Uh, but yeah, maybe next year. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.